here's Kyle Tucker this guy has turned into a beast ball one there I think ultimately you want to tie him up get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield off the mark there two balls no strikes to count appears they're working around him with the base open singy well you know these two oh counts swing and a pop off in foul ground he swings and fouls one off Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Next one misses, and now it's three and two. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop. In the air, center field. Makes the grab on the run. Runner tags for home. Cut off. Now a throw home. And he's in there. A run comes in on the play. Well, we got ourselves a new ball game. Nice job right there at the plate. Sacrifice fly, and he gets in the tie and run. Hensley stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Severino kicks deals. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Severino. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Packed house here at Minute Maid. The next offering misses. Ball two. Robert Valdez had a great 2022. An all-star and, of course, as well, his Astros won the World Series. The pitch. And there's a strike. Yeah, Boog, in an ERA of under three. Pitched over 200 innings and... <laughs> like they were easy innings for him and finished fifth in the American League Cy Young Award voting. The wind of the pitch. The punch out there going up on down. And now Bader up to the plate. Swing and a ground ball out to short. On to first, two up, two down. It's Aaron Hicks now. A switch hitter batting right. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. This has always been the better side for Aaron Hicks. That one misses, and it's a ball to strike. And he deals. And there's a ball. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. And it's even up. Well, when those hitters count, sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And a pitch. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. So the Yanks go in order. Still tied. 1-1. One, one. And welcome back. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. The pitch. 
And that one is inside. Well, these Astros, from what we've seen, I think it's fair to wonder if they've been too patient at the plate. We've seen them go down looking several times, just not really showing much fight in a lot of their at-bats so far. Started to go after it. Now we'll look down to third, and he went around. That's ruled a swing. And the pitch. That one ripped. Judge going back on this one. Up against the wall and brings it in. The second baseman, Jose Altuve. Here's the former MVP, Jose. Altuve. Ball and the one. first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. And now it's even up. Luis Severino, when healthy, he is one of the top pitchers in the American League. When he's going good, he's getting ahead in the count. I love that his mechanics are very simple, very repeatable delivery. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Popped up. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's two down. Here's Alex Bregman. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch is outside, ball one. The one one is fouled off. Got him swinging. Astros go down one, two, three. Score remains tied, one, one. New inning getting started and stepping in for the Yankees, Oswald Peraza. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Good eye in that spot. Pitch misses there, and it's two and one. Outside. Who hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. This to third, Brickman. Slings it across. One up, one down. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Bounce to the left side. Breckman, jump throw. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Glaber Torres up to the plate. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Back here in Houston, leading off, Jeremy Pena. Severino back to work. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. 
He's got it. And there's one down. Jose Abreu up to hit. In there for strike one. Up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. And a couple of quick outs. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. McCormick up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. Swing and a miss. And one and one. He's gotten into a really good rhythm. Set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Here's a one-two. Severino with another strikeout. Nothing doing there for Houston. Score remains deadlocked at one. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Ryan Stanek. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Judge swings through it for strike one. Here comes an 0-2 to Judge. Good eye right there. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Righty delivers. Good eye right there. And now the count filled up three and two. Three, two. And it's ball four. He missed down low. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Go ahead, run on base. And here is Anthony Rizzo. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. And here it comes. That's inside. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And time called at the plate. Maybe trying to slow things down here in a crucial spot. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. And it is two and one. Kicks and deals. There's a strike with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. Three, two now. Calling this count. Runner, not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Giancarlo Stanton on deck for the Yankees. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Nobody out. Runner at first. Oils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Stanek checks the runner, and he's back safely. Swing and a miss struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. 
Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. One for three. Foul ball. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. And it's one and one. At the belt and fires. And now two balls and a strike. Way to lay off that pitch down. Now time called at the plate. The 2 1. And that one upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Three two on the way. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. 3-2 down. He goes down looking. Dude, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was just nasty. Here's Josh Donaldson. Swing and a miss. Well, a come-and-get-me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. And there's a foul ball. And the 0-2. And that's downstairs and outside. High fly ball out to center field. McCormick has it sized up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. So no runs, no base hits. No. Back here at the ballpark, here's Corey Lee. The pitch. There's the strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. That just misses. One and one. And the pitch. Him swinging, it's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So the Houston lineup turns over. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. First offering misses badly for ball one. That clips the corner. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Fastball almost got him there. Straighten him up a little bit. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Line drive. That's a base hit. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Substitution being made at first. Pinch running here, Jake Myers. And next is the designated hitter, David Hensley. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. And it gets by him. 
And he'll pull into second safely. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Winning run in scoring position now, so a clutch A.B. could end this one. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Outfield playing pretty shallow. And here comes the Yankees. Clay Holmes taking over on the mound. And never an easy situation coming in with runners at second and third. He's got a base to work with, so he doesn't have to be perfect, but he does have to make some quality pitches. Clips the corner. No balls, two strikes. That one missed. One down and the winning run at third. Lifted in the air down the left side. Base hit, that'll do it. Across is the winning run, and the Astros walk it off in game three. Well, in the postseason, there's so much excitement, so much energy, everyone hanging on every single pitch. To have a walk-off win under these circumstances, these people have gone crazy. What a nice win, but you've got to turn the page quickly to come back for the next game. And your final score here today, 2-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. So the Houston Astros have come away with a critical win here to jump out to a 2-1 lead in the series. Well, indeed, Boog. This was gut check time. Tied 1-1 in a five-game series. Game three can make all the difference. And... These guys show they've got what it takes to survive the postseason pressure cooker for sure. Still far from over, though, with a massive Game 4 looming. Looking forward to it.